We have served over 140,000 students since we opened the doors in 2010. But when you're here in the Hilton Center and you watch the school buses pull up and you see the looks on the faces of the young people as they come through our doors, sometimes for the first time, and their eyes light up at the beauty of the space and at the expectation of the inspiration they're about to experience. So I grew up in Prince William County. Um, I went to Prince William County Schools kindergarten through 12th grade and was very active in the arts, orchestra, choir, theater. We never had a place where we could come and perform. All of our performances happened in schools or in churches, whatever was available. So to have this place in our community now where students can come and experience performances and then also can come and perform themselves, perform in a uh, professional theater with a professional staff, I think is an invaluable experience that I really wish uh, would have been available as I was going through school as well. I think I was in fourth grade and we came to see the Nutcracker here as one of the community outreach programs that the Hilton does. Um, and I came in to the Hilton and it was magnificent, it was huge. I, I remember looking up and I was like, this is the tallest building I've ever been in. And the teachers here so far have been super insightful into everything that they do and they don't have a problem with me asking questions and being like, wait a second, how did you do that? Wait a minute, I'm not keeping up here. What's empathy? Empathy's the ability. I co-founded this organization with uh, Kim Tapper. We both wanted to create a place where people uh, could come and use music therapy and the expressive arts to help heal. The moment that our students, our cast members, walk into this theater, they feel completely embraced by um, the community here. And also, just to have the chance to perform on a stage like this, For the first time this year, we were able to extend our education initiative to not only bring students to the Hilton Center for performances, but to also uh, bring artists into the schools. They really enjoyed it. They were really engaged uh, when Ladama came over. Uh, and it just, ex again, exposure to a different culture of drumming. That was even good to have a Latin you know, uh, base to come in so they can learn about that as well. We offer programs to students around the region Many of them are from Title I schools that couldn't otherwise afford to pay for these programs, and nearly all of them are offered free of charge or at very, very low cost. And they're all supported by philanthropy. The resource and just the exposure um, to just knowing that it's not just school where you just can play something or you know uh, learn music. I think it's just the variety of experiences that learners of all ages can have from going to a performance to being able to work with the artists after the performance to experiencing lectures about the performance and that creates a community within the people having those shared experiences. We're gonna on the count of three we're gonna say cello right one two three cello Thank you, my friend. Y'all so great. Y'all have y'all an amazing week. Y'all have y'all an amazing afternoon. Practice some music, practice some music with my friends. Until next time.